Welcome to the spoken tutorial on WHO weight for age percentile growth charts. In this tutorial, we will learn about plotting on weight for age percentile growth charts. Interpreting plotted points for growth indicators. Identifying problems on growth charts. Percentile growth charts are discussed in another tutorial of the same series. Basics of growth charts and plotting are explained in that tutorial. The first type of percentile growth chart, length for age, is also explained. It is important that you watch it before watching this tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. Now, let's learn more about the second type of percentile growth chart. It is the weight for age growth chart. Weight for age reflects body weight according to the child's age. On weight for age charts, the y-axis shows weight in kgs. The horizontal lines mean an increase in weight by 0.2 kgs or 200 grams. The x-axis shows age. It starts with 0 which is at birth. Age is plotted in completed months and years from 0 to 2 years of age. Let's go through the steps to plot weight for age in this chart. First, mark the exact age, that is, months and years on the x-axis. Then, mark the weight on the y-axis with a point. Extend it over the connected horizontal line till the marked point for age. Extend the marked point for age over the connected vertical line. The point where the two extended lines intersect is called a plotted point. For every child, points should be plotted over weekly or monthly measurements. Always connect adjacent points with a straight line. This will help to identify any growth problems in the child. Let's use an example to understand plotting points on this chart. This graph shows Amit's weight for age plotted thrice over 6 months. Amit weighed 4.4 kgs at one month of age. It is almost at the 50th percentile. It means he is of average weight one month after birth. He weighed 6.5 kgs at three months of age. It is a little above the 50th percentile line. It means he is of average weight at 3 months of age. He weighed 8.8 .8 kgs at 6 months of age. It is at the 85th percentile line. It means Amit is of above average weight at 6 months of age. It means 15% of children of his age weigh more than him. 85% of children of his age weigh less than him. Next, let's learn more about the average weight of a child. It is along the 50th percentile line in the weight for age growth chart. The average birth weight of a girl is 3.2 kgs. At one month, a girl's average weight is 4.2 kgs. 
at 3 months it is 5.8 kgs. The average weight of a 6-month-old girl is 7.3 kgs. At 1 year, it is 9 kgs. At 2 years, it is 11.5 kgs. The average birth weight of a boy is 3.3 kgs. At 1 month, a boy's average weight is 4.4 kgs. At 3 months, it is 6.4 kgs. The average weight of a 6-month-old boy is 8 kgs. At 1 year, it is 9.6 kgs. At 2 years, it is 12.2 kgs. Now, let's look at the average weight gain for a boy in this table. This column shows the average weight gain per day for a boy. This column shows the average weight gain per week for a boy. In the first week, the weight gain is 28.5 grams per day. Total weight gain in the first week is 200 grams. In the fifth week, the weight gain is 42.8 grams per day. Total weight gain in the fifth week is 300 grams. In the ninth week, the weight gain is 28.5 grams per day. Total weight gain in the ninth week is 200 grams. When interpreting growth charts, be alert for situations that suggest risk. A sharp decline in the growth line of a child indicates a growth problem. Even if a child is overweight, he should not have a sharp decline in his growth. Losing too much weight rapidly is not healthy for any child. The overweight child should maintain his weight while increasing in length. On the other hand, a rapid incline in the growth line is healthy sometimes. This chart shows Arun's weight on the 50th percentile line till 6 months of age. This was because of adequate and effective breast feeding. Then his weight dropped to the 15th percentile line in the 7th month. He did not get adequate complementary food after completing 6 months. He was also ill and had diarrhea. Then, in the 8th and 9th months, his weight started increasing. In these months, he got adequate breast milk and complementary food. Therefore, his growth chart shows an incline. The average birth weight of an Indian child is 2.7 kgs. So, an incline in their growth line is important in the first few months. Correct breastfeeding techniques also cause a sharp incline in the charts. This chart shows that Supriya's birth weight was on the 50th percentile line. Then, in first month, her weight dropped to the 15th percentile line. This happened because of ineffective breastfeeding. Her mother was taught the correct breastfeeding technique for deep latching. Within a month, Supriya's weight increased to the 50th percentile line. However, a sharp incline is risky for babies who are fed animal milk 
or formula. If they gain weight rapidly, then they can become overweight at one year of age. Another growth problem for any child is a flat growth line or growth stagnation. A flat growth line, also called stagnation, usually indicates a problem. If a child's length or weight stays the same over time, she is not growing. Even one month's stagnation in growth represents a possible problem. The only exception is with an overweight child. This child can maintain the same weight over time while the length increases. This will bring the child to a healthier weight for his length. Another problem is slow growth. Here, Pooja's average weight gain is only 500 grams per month. Her birth weight was average at the 50th percentile line. However, here we can see that she became undernourished in just 3 months. She needs effective breastfeeding to come back to the 50th percentile line. Please follow the growth chart to evaluate a child's growth. Take adequate measures if the growth falters due to any reason. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.